Betty Pearl. She's so great. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the haul video from yesterday, my shopping trip with Jeffrey, Real Nifty Vintage, and we went to Treasures Flea Market near Mooresville, Indiana, I believe. You know, I'll put the information right up there. I never quite remember where I'm at sometimes, but I got some pretty neat things and I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you today. As always, if you see something that you are interested in in this haul video, you can send me an email at thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com and let me know that you're interested in it and I will shoot you out, shoot you back a price and we can talk about the details. But most everything, well, everything else, if it's not claimed, from an email will be available in a live sale very soon. I do have my live sales every Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time here on my YouTube channel. So make sure that you are subscribed, that you hit the bell notification so you'll be notified every time I do go live for a sale or, you know, whenever other, I do go pop on and go live every once in a while just for fun. So make sure that you hit the notification button. All right, I got some cool things. Well, the, what was in the title of the, or the thumbnail of yesterday's video were these two glorious Viking glass fairy lamps. There is this blue one that was $6.99. It's in beautiful condition. There's no chips, cracks, or flaws. It's got this nice diamond point in this stunning sapphire blue color. And this fun green one was $5.99. Also in excellent condition, no chips, cracks, or flaws on it in this beautiful emerald green color. Now, my fairy lamps are only available during a live sale. I do sell a fairy lamp every single live sale. So these two fairy lamps are not available until they are up for sale during a live sale. All right, I also picked up, well, this. Let me just show you this first. I'm just gonna grab something and show it to you. I did pay, I think this booth was 25% off. They were $8, but 25% off. I just really like this little set. It is a home studio piece or, you know, someone that, someone went to like a ceramics class and they painted this. And they painted it from, the, to their mother, Love Virginia May but I love the colors on it. It says coffee time, the creamer. I love the font that they used. It's got the little clock on it. And then the sugar bowl matches. Also says coffee time and it does have the lid. It's still signed on the bottom. So I thought these were really cute. It's that color that I'm always drawn to. Uh, the, speaking of mother, I also got this. This is like a, a composite wood black. And I know Mother's Day is coming up in May, so I, you know, I'm kind of looking for items that I could possibly sell that people could give as gifts for their mothers. So this is a really beautiful plaque. I liked the flowers that are on it and that soft, subtle color. But it says, Mother, to one who bears the sweetest name and adds luster to the same. Long life to her, for there's no other who takes the place of my dear mother. So I thought this was really nice and not pretty. And very lightweight and fun. Something different to give to your mother for Mother's Day. Has a very nice sentiment on it. I also picked up this. Oh, this is beautiful. It is a piece of antique milk glass. Um, it was $2.50. It's got the beautiful paint, hand painting on there. Now, you, can you see that it's kind of along the 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 tip here and along the seam of the inside of the heart, you can almost see through it. That's the ring of fire. So that's just, um, it kind of tells a little bit of the age to it as well, but that's called the ring of fire where it's almost translucent in there. This is beautiful. There's no chips or cracks on it. Cute little trinket tray, perfect for Valentine's Day. So I got that. I also, I only got one piece of linen and I did get this, let me make sure, because sometimes I think that something's a tea towel and it's not. I think that this is a table topper. And it says, easy as pie. It's on this nice linen. And it was $1.50. So I know somebody will like that. I like that. I usually pick up linens that have 
animals on them or if they're really a fun floral piece with the color that's really bright and vibrant. Definitely if they've got animals or foods on them. Those are the ones that I, I, I like to pick up. All right, so I got a set of four of these wooden bowls with cherries on them. They're made in Japan. They're like little salad bowls or fruit bowls. I just think they look really cute, just kind of stacked for a display. And they were, how much were you? They were $6, but they were 25% off. So that was a good deal. That was a good deal there. And then I got a, these Frigidaire pink. This is like a, a soft vintage pink color ice cube trays. Now these can still be, I think that they could still be used I don't know how these work exactly because I've seen them that have a handle on them and you can like it kind of cuts the ice in, in a sense but this has like moving parts but I don't know I don't know if it works but I love the pink I love that the handle there says frigid air they were four dollars and fifty cents each but they were 25 percent off so I don't know. I thought that they would look cute in someone's display or someone could use them. They have these nice fun size ice cubes, a little small size, but aluminum ice cube trays. Very fun. So I like, I got those. All right. I also picked up this cup. It is a frosted souvenir cup and I love these. These are great to add. Just to add a little pop of color onto a display, especially if you are from Michigan, the Wolverine state. Now, the thing that caught my eye on this cup more than anything is right there. What does that say? Mackinac Island. Yep, there's St. Ignace, which is just on the other side of the Mighty Mac. And then there's Sault Ste. Marie up there. That's where the Sioux Locks are. Never liked going to the Sioux Locks as a child. But Grand Rapids, Holland, Kalamazoo. That's a fun word to say. Kalamazoo! I'm glad I don't live in Kalamazoo because I would probably say it like that all of the time and drive everybody crazy. But this was, I think this was 50% off. So I ended up paying $2 for this. So that's a great price. And then I did get these. I have to clean these up a little bit. They were $2 each, but oh my gosh, they were so pretty. They're made in Japan. They're very dainty. And they were on the same shelf as the fairy lamp. I don't know if they are supposed to stack. They do stack very nicely, but they are the Swan Sugar and Creamer. Now, I don't know if they were made to stack or, and I haven't done any research. I need to look them up because it does have a lip on here. So this either had a lid to it at some point or they were made to stack. And I, I don't know. I'll have to look it up, but they do stack very nicely. They are made in Japan very dainty i like that this one has a double has the swans on each side as the handles i don't know i just thought they were very lovely hand painted sugar and cream set so pretty for spring so i got those and i got a dalmatian i did pay five dollars and fifty cents for this dalmatian but i do believe that he was 20 or 30 percent off i think he was 30 percent off dalmatians are a good thing to find um in the wild this one's also made in japan and with these figurines though it is really important and i sometimes forget to do this because sometimes we find things and we're so excited that we found this thing and then we don't like fully check it over and i've bought things with broken legs and heads and tails and all sorts of things this is an excellent condition it does have crazing on it which i i like but he's a grand dog dalmatian and then i got some shakers now there was a booth full of salt and pepper shakers and i was we were a little discouraged because we weren't really finding i mean they were three dollars a piece so that price range was fine but we would we just weren't finding we just weren't finding the shakers that were really speaking to us but i did find one set in that particular booth so here we have mini pearl howdy mini pearl she's so great she was a classy broad that mini pearl all right i also picked up the i have never seen one like this let me take the tape off of it how much did I pay for it? 
four dollars i paid four dollars for this this is the, the cutest stinking salt and pepper shaker you've ever have seen but it is let me set it in there the right way it's a little shoe with a sock the little sock well first of all the color of the shoe is amazing but then it, it's a sock i mean really it does not have its stopper in it but i mean isn't that odd it's just like a folded up sock inside of the shoe for the salt and pepper shaker. I loved it. I thought, I thought it was so fun. I have never in my life, I'm trying to figure out, there is a certain way there. It goes in that way. There's a certain way that it goes in there. But I thought that was really fun. And then this last salt and pepper shaker that I got, um, it says $8. I am certain, I am certain that it was 25% off because I don't think, I know I wouldn't have paid $8 for this unless I was going to keep it. And it is this Made in Japan bunny sitting on the lettuce. So it's a little stackable salt and pepper shaker. It's a souvenir piece from Brown County State Park. That's in here in Indiana. The little bunny is holding a flower. They both have their stoppers in them, and it's just a little bunny sitting on lettuce. So this is cute for spring and Easter. All right, and then the next couple things I got are some art pieces. And I, I need to look up this artist. I still haven't looked it up yet, but I paid $8 for the set of them. I loved the coloring. It's a soft pink with the black, and they are on canvas. And this one says, you really mustn't. It's painted by Jenny Harbour. She's an English artist, apparently. The person that had this booth was so kind enough to write, they did some research for me. English artist, I'll try that again, English artist. She was born in 1893 and died in 1959. And I could tell that this was older just by the way that it was matted in the frame. And it has the little, boop, the little hanger right there, the little metal hanger. So I love the coloring on this. So there's that one. And then this one says, The Sisters. For those. The Sisters. So I liked these. Nice little boudoir prints. I think they look really nice in a closet. Like if you are, if you are fortunate enough to have a walk-in closet, this would be great in there or dressing room of some sort. And then this, ugh, now I have to fix the hanger. The hanger, well, I don't really have to fix it. It's just off of the nail. You just got to loop it back through the nail. See, just like that. Now this is a, a Kroger, um, a Florence Kroger lithograph. And it's of this little baby and a little baby Robin. Look at the curls in that baby's hair. Ugh. It's in the original frame. It was $12. It was 25% off. But I loved this. It's from the 1940s. Florence Kroger. I'll have to get the rest of that sticker off. But I love that. So cute for a nursery. So I picked those up. Now the rest of it, the, everything else that I got is all ephemera. I've been on this huge ephemera kick lately. I've been finding a lot of ephemera. I've been really enjoying the ephemera. So these next items are books and pamphlets and things like that. I did get a set. Well, they weren't, they, they were sold separately, but um, I paid $5 for this one and $6 for the other one, but I just couldn't resist. Let me take the tag off just so you can see the full cover in all of its glory because I love the font on this it's a date book or a yearbook or as we commonly call them a calendar um, your memory in cloth covers from 1924 I loved it it's in excellent condition it has postage postage rates in 1924 to send something first class up to 50 miles was five cents my half times have changed. To send it over 1,800 miles, it was a whopping 12 cents. Now, there isn't a lot written in this, so it's 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 really kind of new old stock, but there is things that are written in it. It does have the little um, ribbon here to mark the day. Um, 
I don't really understand if this, I kind of think that this might have been like maybe a farmer kept track of some things, but because I can't really read a lot of it. Just, I don't know if that picked one dozen, P one dozen, planted corn in something field. Henson and, wi and wild helper, something eggs and combine. I don't know, I can't read. Can't read the writing. But it makes me, leads me to believe that this might have been like a farmer's diary. So there's that one. I liked the cover on it. And then this one was $6. This one is Daily Aid, the Silent Secretary of 1945. I always like to look at the binding of the book too for a decor piece, but look at the inside of it. And then these two books were 50% off. So they were $2 each because they were marked $4. I just liked them. I like the color of them. A real book. This one's about submarines. Oh no, 1954. So this was like, almost, they had like a series. So this series is about submarines and this one is about airplanes. So they were $2 each. I got those. And then I got a, oh gosh, so this is just, when you're selling paper goods, don't put, don't put a sticker on the graphic. I'm gonna have to work on this sticker. Oh, don't do that, please. Public service announcement. If you were selling in an antique booth, don't put a sticker on the graphic. You know where you could have put a sticker? You could have put a sticker like right there on that white part on the very, on the very back of the book or up here on the white part, somewhere where it's not on the collar. But anyway, this popular science is from May of 1956 with the camel cigarette ad on the back. I have a lot of these. I need to start selling them before I start buying any more, but I just can't resist them. They're just, oh my gosh, the graphics in here. And then I bought this one. This is also an example of don't put the sticker on the book because this is what happens. You ruin the book. That just makes me so sad because this book has been in great condition and now it's not. You know, there are places you could do, you could use a piece of washi tape and attach the washi tape to the inside of here and it won't stick and have a tag. But I got this book because I like the cover of it. Now the cover of it is a little not nice, but it's Dilly Dally Sally. I can relate to her. Look at her face. She is in a land of confusion. And I can relate to the state of confusion, the land of the confusion. But on the inside, I like that it was spiral bound. The illustrations are very nice. And I did pay, I paid $6, but it was on, it was 50% off. So I paid $3, but look at the graphics. Dilly Dally Sally. I wonder if she's just dilly dallying, not getting her work done. It's by Marguerite Henry, illustrated by Gladys Rourke Blackwood. The family called her Dilly Dally Sally because on most days it took Sally forever to dress. There was always a bruised knee she must examine or a mosquito she must chase. Poor late girl. But today was different. It was Sally's birthday. Oh, well, on my birthday, I am fully focused. Sally was so excited she could hardly stand it while Mother tied her new pink hair ribbon and looked to see whether her socks were right side out. Oh, look at that. I loved that she was just out and out of space. Just not paying attention to anything. So I got that one. And then this last, okay, let me just show you a good example of what to do when you have ephemera. You get these tags, you can get them on Amazon and you just stick them inside your book like that. Okay. And then look, no damage. One other thing that you could do if you were worried about the, um, the tape, the tag falling off is you get a piece, uh, some washi tape in the craft section. You take a little piece of washi tape, and on a, a spot that's white, put a little piece of washi tape right there. There you go. No damage to the book. Because that's really sad to me. That really makes me sad. I did pay I did pay full price for this. I did pay $5 for this book. But oh my 
Look at the graphics on this book. I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. New York, the Wonder City. It's the revised edition. And then look at the back. The Statue of Liberty. Ugh. So this is basically a views of beautiful New York City. The copyright on this well, is MCMXLV. That'll go right there. You'll see. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is a awesome, awesome, awesome book. Oh, there's Macy's on 34th Street. Yeah, Miracle on 34th Street. Macy's department store. St. Patrick's Cathedral. I have never been to New York City. I want to go so badly. Here's Rockefeller Center. And look at the little ice skaters on each side. Mmm. I love this so much. So it's, it's a guidebook to the wonderful New York City. I loved it. I love the graphics on this so much. I did pay $5 for that. But that's it. That is the haul. So boys and girls, what lesson did we learn today? We learned that we're not going to put stickers or, or tape or price tags over the graphics of books or ephemera. Okay. We can do that. We can all make this world a better place and not do that to these beautiful old pieces of ephemera. We can do that. Okay. Let's all take the pledge that we're going to do that within our booths that we're we're going to maybe even use it a, using a sticky note. You know, some people even take pencil and they'll write in pencil in the very corner. A little tippy, tippy top. And then someone can just erase it. And then there's no harm, no foul. So that's, that's the lesson of the day. Don't put tape over things. You can use washi tape though. But still be careful. Don't put it over anything that's in color. Put it on something that, that, are, that is white. All right. Well... That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think that I've got some really good stuff. I was excited about the things that I bought and when we're out shopping. That's kind of what we need to do is just we, we're drawn to things that just kind of evoke some kind of happiness in our soul when we find it. So that was the plan of the day when I went shopping with Jeffrey. We always have a lot of fun when we're together. People ask, do you guys ever get sick of each other? We really don't. We literally talk for every 15 minutes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure that you do leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think was your favorite thing that I picked up. Or let me know if you have another idea of how people can price their books without damaging them. That's always helpful. All those helpful tips people will read down in the comments below. So I appreciate them as well. I know that other people appreciate the helpful, temp the helpful tips as well. Make sure that you do leave this video a thumbs up and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.